Hello to the second part of my sampling tutorials. Uh, the last time in the first tutorial we sampled one sound of my microcork keyboard to play it later on to play it uh, with the sampler or with the workstation and today we're gonna export this sound to Apple's Logic EXS sampler so that we can play it in Logic or in main stage if we are on stage. So I changed the keyboard, um, I disconnected my microcork and connected just a simple MIDI keyboard so that we can hear the sound. We sampled the sound in a Sample Robot by Skylife and uh, we adjusted the loops from the sounds. Um, it's quite easy, so it's the sound right now is like that. And now we're gonna simply export it to the EXS sampler. So go to export, export selected files, Apple Logic Pro EXS24. And in this menu, you see how many formats are provided by Sample Robot, where you can simply export them to soft or to hardware. Play the sound you sampled on that keyboard. Okay, Apple Logic Pro EXS. So frequency, depth and channel, everything's fine, okay. And for the EXS sampler we have to save it in the folder called Music, Audio Music Apps, Sampler Instruments. So that's the path you need, where you need to save the Sound42 format uh, that can be converted by the EXS sampler from Logic, our main stage. So that's fine and we call this YouTube Sampling 1 and save it in that folder. All right. Now we start main stage. We create a new concert. Uh, let's take the keyboard minimalist, just the smallest concert we got. So instead of the electric piano, I choose the EXS sampler stereo. And I open that one and say refresh menu. Because we already copied the samples into that. And now you see that our YouTube sampling appears. And we can simply click it, the EXS sampler just converted it to his format. And now if I play, you can hear that the samples are spread all over this 37 keys. So we can use every key to play this sound. Quite easy. And right now we got this microcork sound this hardware gone soft to the EXS sampler from Apple's Logic. In the next tutorial I will show you how we can export the samples to Native Instruments contact sampler. Thank you for watching and see you next time.